Hello everyone, my name is Antal and welcome back to Air Dingus Airways. Finally got that name correct once again. Today we're going to be trying the ultimate challenge. I'm going to be trying to land and take off, in the other order, an Airbus A320neo, which is, to be honest, one of the easier big jumbo jet aircrafts you can take off. This one I've tried before um, on a landing challenge uh, that I didn't do on a video, but I really struggled and I hated everything about this. So we're not going to be using the Boeing, even though it's bigger. Uh, the Airbus A320neo is the one I'd say I'm most comfortable with, even though I haven't actually successfully landed it properly yet. So yeah, let's give it a go. Uh, we're going to be using IFR. Uh, so, you know, we're going to try and do everything properly. We're going to give it a go. So we're going to be, this is our flight route. We're going to be going from Marseille in France, down over the ocean, and then all the way down into Barcelona. And I picked this because it's got the straightest approach. <laughs> it's going to be the nicest approach. I was going to do like, you know, London to Paris, like the classic. But the issue is, is that it, it practically wants me to like, like here's the runway and it wants me to come in from this angle and then just somehow like do a massive like 90 degree bend. So we're doing this one instead. I think this one will be a bit more fair. Um, so let's get going. And here we are. We are in what well, what looks to be probably one of the most complicated things you'll ever see. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, um, things are going to be going good. So we're going to open air traffic control. Look at that. We're we're cleared for runway takeoff. Let's just go. Not even think about it. Here we go. The movie is Shrek the Third. Does anyone really remember what happened in Shrek the Third? Because I know I don't. So there's a few different things that uh, we need to think about when when doing this. Um, it's our speed mainly, flaps and landing gear. Landing gear is one thing I always forget to take off because I'm a dumb. Um, okay, let's take off. So there we go, landing gear off. And I believe we could just turn on autopilot. Now it's turning me to the left. Is this the way we want to go? It is. We do want to go left. So it's all pre-programmed in. It knows what we're doing. So the autopilot basically will just take care of everything. See look, it says climbing to 8,000. So what we want to do is adjust this to 8,000 right there and then lock it in. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. Uh, important thing about the throttle that we need to take care of right now. We need to change the throttle to CL and CL is basically auto throttle. Uh, so, so yeah, the auto throttle is is interesting. So because we put it on auto throttle, what that'll do is that'll make sure that it it sits at the absolute perfect speed that we need to go. So see, we're still climbing. I because I set it to eight thousand, so we're climbing to eight thousand. Got autopilot on, so that means it's gonna follow this this pink line as much as it possibly can. Um, I I think we're doing okay. Uh, let's look out the window. It's a little bit laggy out there, but as to be expected while I'm recording. This aircraft starts with flaps on by one step, so I had to turn it off just then, which I really should have done earlier, because I've probably damaged it now. Climb, flight level 180. Okay, we got it. that means it wants us to go at this height. Keep ascending. Now, if I'm doing anything wrong, feel free to let me know, because I'm a bit of a dingus, and I don't really know what I'm doing. But this is just what I'm going off based on like a couple of weeks of training, <laughs> not really training, but like a couple of weeks of playing this game. Um, I really don't know what I'm doing, but hopefully, hopefully I'm doing okay. Um, if, if anyone has any advice they'd like to give me, let me know. Because <laughs> I would like to learn how to fly this thing properly, because maybe one day I can do some really long haul flights and stuff and that'd be really cool. Okay, so yeah, there we go. We're letting autopilot do everything. We're doing well. It wants us to get to 18,000 feet. I don't know why, because I feel like that's just way too high considering we're only going over there. I reckon at Mamez, we're probably going to have to start descending, is what I would guess. Uh, so yeah, we've got autopilot on. Let's just check a few different things here. Uh, auto brake we want to set to maximum. Auto brake isn't turning on, so that's great. Maybe there's another way to turn that on somehow. See, so yeah, I know that this is, this is speed match, so if you want, you can set it to go at whatever speed you want it to. This one is for heading, so that's like um, like three, 360 degrees of the compass, but we're not doing heading. We've got an autopilot to set to follow this line, so that's good. 
Uh, approach mode, we're going to try on uh, on our approach into Barcelona, because approach mode will allow you to auto land, which is what I really want to figure out how to do. I'll, oh, that's ILS. Okay, 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 okay. So ILS is the auto landing feature, and we want to turn that on. Oh, yikes. It's a bit much. <laughs> but this is what I've learned. And I don't properly know how ILS works. All I know is that if you turn ILS on, it'll find like a path of lights or something. It'll it'll be able to detect where you're supposed to land. That that'll then start trying to auto land. Like it'll descend at the correct altitudes and speed, and it'll like it'll do everything for you basically. So my goal is to try and learn how to do ILS landing on my own basically without having any knowledge. Because, like, you'll look at a tutorial on YouTube for this thing, right? And the issue is, it'll literally just, like, be, like, a half an hour tutorial, and they're just overall not very good. They're not very helpful. <laughs> I've tried, and it just doesn't compute. I, I'm, I'm gonna try it on my own. Okay, so we're flying over the ocean now. It may not be the most exciting look, but uh, it's, it sure is a nice day for it, because we have live weather and, and everything on. Uh, as far as I'm aware. Let's just see. Weather. Oh no, we don't. We gotta turn on live weather in real time. Of course we gotta do that. Why wouldn't we have, like, live weather in real time on? We gotta simulate the real world here. We can't- we, we can't be going away from reality. Whoa, it just got really cloudy. Okay, interesting. Hopefully it's not gonna be like this on the, uh, on the descent. Okay, so we're at 18,000 feet, quite high up in the air, and I don't know what it's gonna want us to do next. Oh, it looks like we're uh, we're heading up on on Mames or Mams Mames. I guess it's Mames, right? I should know this because my name is James, M A M E S. Mames, Mames, Mams. There's so many different ways you could say it. Mamages. I was thinking like sandwiches. Then I'm not hungry. What perfect weather we're having as well. <laughs> it's like complete cloud. You would expect in this part of the world, you know, south of France. Near Barcelona, it should be quite nice. It could be nice and sunny, but no. This is 90% of my experience since flying these things as well, by the way. It's just pure cloud. Okay, we're tuning into the Barcelona Center Barcelona now. We're tuning, Center, Alpha, fiddling Sierra with our switches and stuff. Continue as planned. Okay. It's a kind of one star going down. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the thing, you see, I, I, I'm not sure. Like, I'm, I'm, I, I'm the sort of person who will be very careful and get down really early, uh, probably earlier than I have to, so that I'm able to get there on time. You know, I don't want to overshoot and, and be in trouble. Um, I don't want to force myself to, to, to have to drop down, like, thousands of altitude in seconds just to, to reach it. I'm always early instead of late. I think that's how I'd be if I was a drummy boy as well. If I did the drums, I would hit to hit them always too early, with the fear of being late. But you know, if it wants me to stay at this altitude, I'll stay at it. We're gonna trust them at ATC. They know I'm a noob. You see, I talked to them earlier. I, you know, we, we got we got Debbie here, who's uh, who's talking to us on the on, on the Barcelona Control Center. She's called Debbie. Me and her go way back, you know. All right, we're heading towards Bisbe now. Oh, we can see the uh, the clouds are starting to clear up a little bit in front, which is nice. Maybe we're actually going to be able to see the land in front of us soon. Um, you can see these little dots here, that those are like landmarks or whatever, um, and the land ahead. The lands between you, sir, are made of this. I know. Oh yeah, there's this here as well. This is like the um, a little a calculator, as I call it. So it'll allow you to see all the check marks and stuff. So look at Bisper, which is right there. We should have been at 14500 altitude, but they're just saying continue as following, so I don't know. BGR, it doesn't say anything. Um, and then Nenda, we should be at 7500, so Nenda's right there. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe now that, like, when we get to BGR, we're gonna have to start our descent, is what I'm guessing. You see, that's the thing. I don't know how that little calculator works down here. I don't even know what that is. I, I just know that you're, you're supposed to look at it. I've seen videos of people looking at it and programming it in for like 45 minutes before they start flying. And I don't bother with any of that. But uh, yeah, if anyone knows a good guide on how it works and is able to explain the intricacies of it, let me know. Yeah, wow, look at this. Look at that. The sun off the water over there. And you've got the, the bays and stuff. This looks so good. Oh. Oh, we're doing our turn now. Descend and maintain 12,000 feet. 
Okay, okay, look at that. We gotta descend now. Descend to 12,000 feet. Let's descend acknowledge we're beginning our feet. descent. Okay, this is good. This is very, very good. The fact that we're descending means we're, we're making progress. We're almost there. With the ILS, that works from 5,000 feet and below. So, we've got to get to around 5,000 feet when we're getting close, and then press that switch, and then it should detect and find the runway. And it should then automatically lower us down at the correct altitudes and everything, and the speed will automatically do itself. So, hopefully, we'll be okay. It's just the flaps and the landing gear is what I have to focus on mainly. 16,800, we're gonna keep going, keep going down. And, uh, uh, yeah, this is, oh, this is going well, this is going very well. It's just the landing bit I'm not good with. So, like, it just shows, like, that these, these aircrafts, the A Airbus A320 Neo, they just fly themselves, <laughs> you know? As long as you've got, like, a decent flight plan and stuff, all you've gotta do is, you gotta talk to ATC more than you have to flick and dabble with all these switches and stuff it's it's kind of interesting because like all you have to do really is is mess around with the altitude there when they tell you to um you have autopilot on for 90 percent of the flight you know you just click that little switch and it'll land itself as well as you know put down the landing gear and do a couple of flappy bits um which are right there and 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 it, you know that's it it just does it all itself but um of course i i still need to land this successfully <laughs> <laughs> and by the looks of it, we're just about reaching 12,000 feet. I just heard my engine speed up a bit, so now it's trying to co like correct itself. You can see this blue marker here, that's what it's set to, right there. That's the goal of the speed, by the way, that little purple like triangle there. That's what it wants to try and hit, so it realises if, if it's slightly too high, it will reduce the power automatically to go lower and then raise it and it, it does it all automatically. So it's really cool and clever how it does all this. So we're probably going to get another person telling us just after Nenda that we've got to start going down. Oh. So we've got to go to 7,000 feet now. So we're going to do runway 24 right. I don't know what expects VOR DME is. I don't know what that means. But that's part of the fun. <laughs> and this is like the last waypoint as well, Nenda. So the next waypoint will literally be landing. Right, so once we've hit 5,000, we're gonna wait just a little bit longer, and then we're probably gonna turn on ILS on and also um, get our landing gear and start doing the flaps and stuff. That's what I'm thinking. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. Hopefully it goes well, because we gotta land just just down here. Annoyingly, we've got a lot of, uh, a lot of clouds in the way for our, our final approach, but we should be all right. Okay, so they've just clear, cleared the runway for us. Look at that, they've cleared that. Okay, this is it. This is the last one. So we're, up, what, like 14 miles, they said? Out? So we're still, like, really far away. Uh, let's have a little look at Barcelona while we're here. Look at this. Looks so good. Okay, I, I, I don't know if this is working, but look, we're at 2,100 feet. Uh, instead of um, what, what our, our thing is, our altitude, which is 23. So I'm guessing... That our approach mode is on it has found the air uh, airport i can only assume um because it's making us descend really slowly and our, our power is kind of doing it itself so i can only assume this is it's it's automatically doing it for us because it's supposed to show like some little uh, little things like around here some little markers and, and boops and buttons and things so hopefully it's it's bringing us in for the correct approach cleared to land 24 right Okay, got clearance. I still can't see the aircraft, like the airport. Is that it over there? If so, we're like too low, right? We're gonna take it all off autopilot because it doesn't seem to have lined us up properly. Yeah, here we go. We're getting some major lag right here. Ground control to major lag. We're way too high, way too high. I'm gonna push down a little bit. Okay, 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 okay. Doing all right. Flaps all the way down now. Can I land this properly? A little bit off center, but we're okay. 100. 100. Let's 60, pull back. 50, no, don't you dare. Don't you dare turn back on. 30, 20, retard, right. We did it. We landed. I did it! Exit runway when able. 
You bet I will. We did it. <laughs> so that's the thing, right? The ILS is supposed to line you up with the runway and stuff, but it didn't seem to do anything. And I, it's probably just me doing something wrong because I'm a dingus. All right, I, I think I think we've done it. Let's uh, <laughs> let's go into external external view and have a look. Yeah, look at that. Look at that they've connected it up properly and everything. All the people are leaving the, the plane now. Look at that. We did it. <laughs> so yeah, I, th I think I think we're good for now. So yeah, I mean we're running at a solid 17 frames per second, but that's fine. That's all good. So yeah, we've done it. We 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 successfully took off and landed this thing. I'm happy with that. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching. I'll uh I'll see you in the next video. And um yeah, remember to like and subscribe. Do more soon. <laughs>